Every summer, millions of monarch butterflies migrate as far as 3,000 miles, traveling from Canada and the northern United States to spend the winter in the warmer climates of central Mexico and California. They often return to the same area and the exact same trees. How they navigate and physically endure the long flight is one of the greatest mysteries and miracles of nature. The cycle of life begins when two butterflies mate. The female lays her eggs on the underside of milkweed leaves. In about four days, the eggs hatch and a tiny caterpillar emerges. The caterpillar, also known as the larva, is ravenously hungry and feasts on milkweed. In about two weeks, the caterpillar is fully grown and it attaches to a tree branch where it undergoes the miraculous transformation into a chrysalis. This transformation of the caterpillar into a butterfly is known as metamorphosis. The butterfly has a short lifespan of only two to six weeks. During that time, they eat, mate, lay eggs, and the males continue to mate until they die. The monarch population has declined dramatically over the past few decades. One reason for the die-off is because herbicides are killing the milkweed. Every year, a super generation of butterflies is born. They live six to eight months. When they mature, they do not mate, but rather begin their long journey to specific sites in Mexico and California, where they spend the winter. Millions of the super generation of butterflies return to their roosting sites in the Michoacan area of central Mexico. The biosphere where they roost has perfect conditions, a thick canopy that moderates the temperature and humidity. The monarchs gather close together in their roost sites during the cool evenings. In the mornings, they bask in the sunlight to stay warm. Some of this area has been deforested, which is another factor that has led to the decline of the monarch population. There is some good news. 
UNESCO has declared the Monarch Butterfly Biosphere Reserve in the state of Michoacan a World Heritage Site. This action will prevent further deforestation. While there are no simple solutions for reviving the monarchs to their earlier numbers, there are some simple things that anyone can do to help. You can do your part to help the monarch butterflies by planting milkweed and nectar producing flowers in your garden or along roadsides. Planting milkweed and flowers may seem like a small thing, but if millions of people do it, it could be a catalyst for positive change.